Well, howdy. I'm going to be uh, stealing Dad's car today. We're going to take it to the house. Yeah, we are. We're going to take it to the house, and we're going to wash it for the first time in probably 15 years, something like that. Uh, long story short, my dad has been thinking about fixing this car for 20 years. Uh, it's been setting up until last year for 20 years. He first got it in about 97. And he built it out of junk. And I literally mean junk that his friends deemed not good enough for their rides. Dad has always been a hard working man. When I was a kid, I, I never wanted for anything. I never had to worry about where a meal was coming from. Nothing like that. So he would make compromises with other things. Now his junk was always safe. Brakes, suspension, he didn't skimp on because you'll kill somebody if you do. But the motor was used, the tranny come out of a Barracuda. I know, we'll get you some water in a minute. And he drove it to work every day for years. From like 97 to 2003, and that's when the motor turned loose in it. Uh, the thrust bearing went out on it, and they drove it. <laughs> he drove it a little while after that, because again, it was his only car. And then my uncle bought it from him and drove it for about a year and I use that term loosely he beat the dog doo-doo out of that thing and it still lived I don't know how it lived but fast forward to a year and a half ago I had the opportunity to do some trading and some wheeling and dealing with a truck we had and a friend of mine Richard, he took Dad's dart and swapped all the running gear out of a stalled project that he'd just give up on. Had a decent motor. It's got a decent motor in it. Had all big bolt pattern disc brakes on it. And an 8 and 3 quarter rear end 355 posi. And that's what everything went out from under and slid under Dad's dart. We also undercoated it while we were there. And you may look at it whenever you see it up close in this video. Be like, why did you undercoat it? What was the point? Because it's not as rusty as it looks. There is a hole about that big in the passenger floorboard. That's it. It does need lower quarters, but what early A body doesn't? Tell them in there, right? <laughs> but. That's just part of the game. You gotta pay to play it. But long story short, we're gonna take, and eventually we're gonna put quarters on it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it today, and I'm gonna take it down and take it to the house, I say. I'm not gonna take it to the car wash. I'm gonna wash it by hand, and then we're gonna polish it. We probably won't make polishing at this video because I'm kinda crippled up a little bit here. So I gotta do things when my body lets me. I'm on the middle of a weight loss kick here and I'm doing pretty good, I've lost 30 pounds. So if I keep doing a little bit every here and there and keep working at it, I'll get to my goal. So wish me luck on that. But uh, we've already woken up the neighbors. It's six something in the morning. I don't know what, something. But Dippy, she's ready to go. This is Dippy. And my friends, they call me Dart. Or Darticus, as Captain would say. Shout out to you, Captain. And, uh, well, my, I'm fixing to get out after it. You ready to go? All right. Let's see if we can wake up more people. Yep. I'll see y'all when we go steal his Dart. Another gear.
I always think it's in second. Barracuda 
was just a slick, if not slicker, than this dart. But, Dad wanted this dart more than he wanted anything else. And I can't say I, I'd rather have the Barracuda because this dart's fun and ain't nobody suspect it's got a four feet in it. But, uh, only thing we, I really would have to change on it, one, the wheels. They just had good tires on it, so that's what it got. And we don't, I don't like road wheels or five, my Magnum 500, whatever you want to call it. And Dad don't either. But, and it's a little too low. Okay, it's a lot too low. But, again, it's all little things. Uh, and we need to run the exhaust all the way out the back. It'll choke you out. You can't drive it a long distance right now. It's, it's dumped by the rear axle. It's junk. But this exhaust was in a convertible, so I, I guess it'd have been, it was going to be all right for a convertible with the top down, you know? But uh, it ain't good for this motherfucker. Sorry about that. I ain't supposed to cuss on YouTube. I know. Y'all just pretend like y'all didn't hear that, all right? <laughs> dad's riggedy raggedy ride home so here pretty soon i'm gonna take it and start washing it that's gonna be the next video i've decided because we're already almost 15 mi minutes in this knowing the history of it so i'll give you a walk around in this one of how dirty she is look at all that moss growing on her we're gonna get that ride off of her and it is hotter than a well digger's ass in july around here If anybody's got a uh, split bench seat for this rig, let me know in the comments so I can maybe do some dealing with you. Look at all that nastiness. That's a little bit of rot in the quarter panel there. Forgive the dirty driveway, I gotta break it. And I'll tell you about the story about that Bondo field, chicken wire, angle iron, quarter panel later. We didn't do that. We bought it like that. Like I said, she was a budget rig. When dad was done, he probably had $400, $450 in the whole rig. I mean, I, we got more in it now, but you know. Well, that AC's loud. And at one time, we was going to paint it purple. The hood is junk. As you can see, it's letting out all kinds of shit all over it. But when it finally folds up, I'll, I'll put another one on it. Basically stock 318 with a little radiator. y'all i'm hot tired like i said i ain't in the best health right now so that's gonna be it for now i'll talk at y'all whenever we get to washington